Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be talking about Jahan Dotson, Terry McLaurin, Carson Wentz, and some of the other guys working out together in California. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content so close to 8,000 subscribers. So please help me get there. Also hit that like button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Now let's get right into it. This should be a pretty quick video. I didn't even know if I was going to make it, but I thought some people would enjoy it. So here it is. So when Terry McLaurin had his press conference for the contract extension, you know, he said, or I, I don't know if he said in the press conference, but it was revealed that he's leaving Ashburn later that day to fly to California for a workout session with Carson Wentz and a few other teammates. And those teammates, from what we can tell so far, include Antonio Gibson, I believe, you know, Jahan Dotson, of course, Cam Sims, and I don't know for sure if the other receivers are there, but those are the only ones that like we could tell from social media. They were posting some pictures and everything, but it is really nice that those guys are there, you know, just to, you know, get some chemistry going. So here's the pic. Shout out Rio for posting this on his Twitter. You can see a little picture of them working out. You can see Carson Wentz right here. I believe Antonio Gibson here and then Jahan here and Terry here. So they're out in California working out. So great to hear, you know, great to see for sure. And, you know, maybe De'Ami Brown and them are out there. Not sure. Or they could have different things going on. So who knows for sure about that? And a lot of those guys already worked, you know, De'Ami Brown, some of those guys that, you know, aren't pictured here already worked. And, you know, Curtis Samuel worked with Carson Wentz before in training camp and an OTA so it's not a big deal but it's you know it's great that Terry's there with Wentz and also with Jahan Dotson maybe he can give him some tips I mean Jahan Dotson's already looking great you know so far during the offseason but you know Terry of course can give him some great tips and maybe Jahan you know Jahan Dotson can take that advice and become even better I'm not going to read too much into Curtis Samuel not being there but you know based off that injury and him still not being there I, I you know there's probably has nothing to do with each other, but still, I mean, I don't know. He might be on the side field, who knows? But let's see. And then there's an actual, you know, picture right here where you can see Jahan and Terry, like, you know, right next to each other. Looks good. Look like looks like they're having fun. It's just happy. I'm just happy that they got to practice before training camp because you know they had like I think a meet uh, someone in the media asked like you know Jahan, have you texted Terry yet? And then this is like a couple weeks or like maybe a few weeks ago, and he said no. And then a lot of people are not making a huge deal of deal out of it but a little bit and now of course they're talking and they're probably going to be in constant contact until training camp and then obviously after that they'll be in you know contact all the time but it's great to see those two together because Terry definitely has a lot of advice he can give Jahan and both of those guys seem very similar in you know terms of the way they carry themselves in the you know press conferences and then also kind of how they've been doing you know how they did in their first off season so you know good to see those two work together and you know also Carson Wentz and Terry McLaurin getting that chemistry. I always said I didn't think it was a big deal Terry missing, you know, the mini camp and OTAs because, you know, he's been able to have good chemistry with quarterbacks on the same day they, you know, he met them or the same week or two and, you know, Car you know, he'll be fine only getting a couple months with Carson Wentz and, you know, they're out working in the offseason right now and they'll probably be doing some throwing sessions later before training camp even starts as well. So I don't think it's a big deal at all. You know, Terry is going to be fine in terms of his chemistry with Carson Wentz. And I think also, you know, we've talked about it a ton, but a little bit of a blessing in disguise where Terry's out allows Jahan to really be that number one threat on the offense during while Terry's, you know, was out and, you know, him and Carson Wentz got some really, really good chemistry going when, you know, maybe if, you know, Terry McLaurin was there, the connection between Carson Wentz and Jahan Dotson wouldn't be as strong as it is today. So, you know, I'm happy how everything played out. Terry got his extension. You know, Jahan got some, you know, strong, you know, good, he developed a good connection with Carson Wentz already. 
and Terry's still able to work out with Carson Wentz. So I think all is good in Commander's Land right now. So I'm really happy they got the opportunity to work out. And no clips out yet. But I talked to the guy that took all these photos. And he said some clips will be coming out soon. So once that happens, I don't know if I'll make a video. Maybe I'll just post the clips or something. Um, or you know, post the link. So we'll see about that. So overall, great, great news for the Commanders. And it's good that all those guys are together working out um, I forgot to show the Antonio Gibson pictures but after this I have one more thing I want to talk about you can see you know Carson Wentz you know about to probably throw a pass to Antonio Gibson and you see um, him catching a pass and everything right there so and you see Terry and I believe that's Jahan so now I really I wanted to quickly quickly talk about um, you know the 90th anniversary of the franchise so just some quick things about it that I, some things I like some things I didn't like including Trent Williams being left off the top 90 players in franchise history list which I think is absurd but in honor of their 90th anniversary they'll be wearing you know um, patches on their jerseys for the entire season you can see the patch right there this is 1932 to uh, 2022 so the, you know the patches look really nice in my opinion it looks solid and it goes with the unis for sure and there's different color patches uh, so i like that and i think that's a good touch for the commanders and it's a simple thing but it's a good thing that they can do to honor the 90 years of the franchise thing i don't like so fans can vote 10 of the following players and coaches into the 90th greatest list so they had you know in 2012 they had the 80th greatest and then now they're adding 10 more so the 10 more that could possibly be added champ bailey you know i mean he's a great great player but only a few years i you know there's other guys that i would argue are more valuable like clinton portis um you know d'angelo hall is you know nominated stephen davis uh Joe Lavender and some of these guys, you know, I'm too old to really have a great opinion on. And you guys can see some of the newer players in Kirk Cousins, Alfred Morris, London Fletcher, Chris Cooley, Santana Moss, and Ryan Kerrigan. One name, though, is, that was left off the list is Trent Williams. And Trent Williams is probably the best guy on any of these lists. I mean, he is one of the best tackles in franchise history, probably number two, like top three for sure. Um, no doubt about it. He's like the best, or if not the you know, top three tackles in the NFL right now. They traded him away. It wasn't a great ending, of course, with Washington, but like Kirk Cousins should not be on a list over Trent Williams. It's not even close. I love Alfred Morris, but same thing with him. Like Trent Williams was a, definitely a better player than him. I mean, honestly, better player than all these guys. Um, but um, you know, Santana Moss deserves it for sure. And I think there's 12, you know, players here. Um, so, or actually 15. Sorry, 15. So you know, only five are going to be left off. So a lot of these guys are going to make it. So you could see Kirk Cousins make it or Alfred Morris, which, you know, I wouldn't upset if Alfred Morris made it because he's a great guy. And he did have a couple really, really good seasons for us. I assume Chris Cooley's going to make it, London Fletcher, Santana Moss, like Ryan Kerrigan. I think those guys deserve to make it. But I also think that Trent Williams deserves to make it too. And I think it's kind of petty that they left him off. They also, you know, kind of misspelled some names as well let me go back here um, you guys can see this right here but it is what it is you know I like the patch and I like the idea of adding 10 more guys to the list but Trent Williams should be on this list because he yeah there's no other way about it he is a top 90 player in franchise history so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and peace